Alright guys, uh, as you can see, I've uh, finally, finally given in and decided to give Doom Builder 2 a shot. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is try and uh, configure this thing so it'll work. Uh, obviously, I guess your first thing to do is to find your iWads. I don't even know where the fuck they're at, to be quite honest. I don't even think I have my Doom folder copied just yet, so I'm just going to have to run it from... Uh, all my Doom stuff. Alright, Doom 2, that's all I really need. And then Doom in Hexen format is going to use the same IWAD. And that's all I really need because that's my preferred uh, format, as you all know. Okay, preferences, let's see what we can do here. Okay, see, so we can do this. We can change the select and auto stitch distance, which is good because sometimes you're working with really small, uh, really small uh, sizes, you know. Alright, so we'll do Doom and Hex in format. Let's see what we can do in this thing. Oh, sorry, I've got fraps up as well. There we go. I don't need this shit either. Alright, uh... Alright, the lines here in the editor are thicker, so... I guess it makes it e makes them easier to see. And then, of course, they have the whole... Uh, how you can see the floor and texture in, uh, in the editor, which I guess is cool. Uh, let's change the floor of these. ceiling of course as well I'm just making a very simple basic very terrible map so don't judge me on this uh, where the fuck is the grid alright that snapped the grid but where can I change the size of it as you can see I really don't um, I'm really not sure how this works just yet I don't <laughs> I really don't know how to make the uh the grid change in size. Whatever. Uh okay, increase or decrease grid is left bracket, right bracket. Alright, I guess that's actually that's actually pretty nifty to be quite honest, because it does it in the proper increments, which is good for me because I never really work with odd numbers in this game. But so far, I guess I'm liking it. Um, if if I do end up uh, actually really using this, um, I will redo all the other tutorials. Ooh, 3D mode's still here. Nice. Uh, the 3D mode's definitely been beefed up. You can multi-select, which is nice. And it uses the better... Um, editor type dealy. So so far I guess this is a uh, an improvement. I just uh I'm just going to have to get used to this. Um yeah, let's make these like a uh, comp blue that way. It'll give me my, uh, yeah, there we go. So now it's kind of like my uh, CTF type deal. Alright, well, uh, 
Yeah, so I've got it configured and working properly. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh I'm going to make a map with this and then I'm going to show you guys in a separate video. But uh you guys can expect some Doom Builder 2 tutorials coming soon. Uh what I'm going to do is recreate the ones I've already done in Doom Builder 2. So for those of you who are still using uh Doom Builder 1 can still use my old tutorials and I'll make new ones for DB2. And that way, those of you who have Vista or 7 or what have you can learn the same things.